Moving on to our high school football two-a-days, only four more days until kickoff in Iowa. Tonight, we're talking the Lamar's Bulldogs, who for the first time since 2016 won't be starting Tate Westoff at quarterback, meaning things will look a little different for the Bulldogs. But it's not just Westoff Lamar's needs to replace. Running back Trevor Smith, as well as his top two receivers in Isaiah Toki and Anthony Lumero are both gone, leaving some pretty big holes on offense to be filled. All the Bulldogs really return is three starters on the offensive side of the ball in 2020, and they'll rely on a two-quarterback system to start the year with former backup, now senior, Carter Ahrens and junior Tyler Iverson. Carter's got a really strong arm, and, and he's, he's a good leader. He, he does some nice things on the field. Tyler has some good experience going through our program. He is, he's uh, developing as a quarterback. He, he's done a lot of work, and, and we're, we're excited about what he's done and, and where he's going to go. I think it's a good idea if I'm going to be playing both sides of the ball. I mean, if I'm going to be playing defense, I'm going to need some time, some breathing time, you know, and Iverson can get in there and show what he can do. The biggest thing the Bulldogs have in their favor entering 2020 is continuity on the defense. Well, Lamar has returned seven of their 11 starters from a season ago. Aaron's returns is the team's top tackler and spearheads a unit that will probably be relied on heavily in the early going. The experience is great. We all we all got plenty of time on varsity last year. Know what what to expect, and we're trying to show the younger guys who are coming up what to do. And they're getting they're getting their reps and everything they need to get to. It'll mainly start with the guys up front too, because we're. I don't think we lost anyone up front. And then I need to be more of a leader up there and get more tackles and sacks and just do more of a leading job on the defensive side. The Bulldogs opening their 2020 slate on the road on Friday, traveling to Sioux Center, which was announced today, will be streamed online on the Door webcast. Here's a look at the upcoming two days schedule. Tonight at 10, we'll preview the Sergeant Bluff Luton Warriors. What are they going to look like after their long tenured quarterback took off after graduation? Then tomorrow, we head up to South Dakota for Dakota Valley's preview. And at 10, we dive into South Sioux City. And don't forget, if you've missed any of our two days, you can find them online at SiouxLandProud.com.